And stage one, Pogo. Hello and welcome to the Launchpad and the live launch coverage of Starlink 7-11 from Slick 4 East in Vandenberg, California. I'm your host, Gavin, and here at TLP, we want to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. As you might be noticing that Zach is not hosting tonight, he is off taking a vacation down in Florida aboard the Norwegian Epic. More on that later. SpaceX began fueling around 35 minutes ago, and it appears everything's been proceeding pretty smoothly towards our T-0 of 4.35 Pacific time. Our payload tonight is 22 Starlink V-2 mini satellites set to be launched into low Earth orbit. Starlink is a satellite constellation that provides internet around the world, especially in places with little to no coverage at all. Seems we've just had a glitch with...
and it appears SpaceX has just randomly went back to live and Falcon 9 is in the skies. Looks like we had a successful liftoff from Vandenberg today. We've had a successful Miko stage step and second stage ignition. <laughs> this is a very odd live stream on SpaceX's end. If you're just joining us now, you're looking at live views of Falcon 9's first and second stages. On the left there, you see Falcon 9's first stage coasting to its drone ship landing. This will be its 16th landing if it completes it. And then on the right there, you see our second stage burning bright with those 22 Starlink V2 mini satellites. I guess you could say this is a very cursed launch. <laughs> Uh, but as I said earlier, Zach is on a cruise right now. He is probably laughing at this. <laughs> In just a few minutes, we will see that first stage on the left perform a re-entry burn to slow itself down in preparation for the landing burn that will follow, follow shortly after. Both vehicles are on their nominal tra trajectory. As you heard, their nominal trajectories on both, both first and second stages there. We're now around 20 seconds away from that entry burn on the first stage. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And as you saw there, what appeared to be a nominal entry burn, Falcon 9's first stage will now steer itself to the landing site using those four grid fins. This will be 1063's 16th landing board. Um, of course, I still love you. This is downrange in the Pacific Ocean. Stage 1 FTS has saved. Next up, we will see that landing burn on the first stage. <laughs> Thank you, Ian, for the super chat. I try my best. <laughs> Stage one, transonic. We are now nearing that landing burn, which is just over 20 seconds away from now. Everyone say hello to Zach in the chat, currently joining using Starlink. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And as you see there, Falcon 9 B1063 now going to attempt its 16th landing on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship. Stage 2 FTS has saved. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. And touchdown of booster 1063 completing its 16th Stage successful landing. landing. 
Next up, we will have Seiko 1. SpaceX does not provide live views after Seiko 1, so we will have to terminate the broadcast here. Yeah, At least we got a rocket up today. Uh, so <laughs> this has been my first stream. Quite a ride. Uh, but thanks for watching, everyone. We will be terminating the broadcast here as Seiko 1 has just occurred. Uh, so thanks for tuning in because space, they're together.